Hello everyone and welcome back to the Super Auto Pets weekly pack. Uh, this week was uh, sort of a weak pack for the, the early rounds, but then got pretty interesting in the late rounds. No incredibly strong combos, just um, de decently strong, respectable, you know? Um, so start out with uh, Triple Iguana and some Moth. Uh, and ironically, take a uh, honey, even though I'm using um, anti summons. That was a cockroach and not a um, cricket. <laughs> That's where the confusion came from. Uh, but here we're getting double level up, which is very nice. And I go ahead and take both the um, dog and the bear after some deliberation. Uh, just sort of decide, like, yeah, the tier twos weren't super interesting, super strong. So uh, having this makes uh, it was probably the best combo that I would have had available to me. Uh, while this plays out, let's talk a little bit about the test server. So the Super Auto Pets test server just came out and um, uh, reworking the puppy pack and... Uh, making a bunch of changes to the existing turtle pack and puppy pack um, pets. Uh, a little bit of rework for the turtle pack. Not not a ton, but, you know, a little bit. And there's some changes that are very interesting, some very fun changes, like Jerboa actually being, like, possible to use. Most Mostly Jerboa uh, warm combo. But, uh, like, some of the level up things are a little bit rough, and like, I get wanting to make it so that people want to shift from, um, tier, like, tier 1 pets up towards, like, tier 5, 6 pets, but I think getting achievements for the lower tier pets is going to be really rough now, uh, if they keep what they currently have. I feel like it should be, you can't win with all tier 1 pets, but you can win with, like, one or two tier 1 pets. And right now, it just doesn't feel super viable like it's going to be oh here's the like here's like a team built around just like super scaling and then oh here's this dead weight that you have on the side it's going to be a bit frustrating um anyways back to the game secretary bird i have never really taken secretary bird before um only recently came out with the golden pack i believe but, um, you know, it's it's interesting. Um, I figured it went well with the bear, uh, wombat, and the um, extra honey I had on the uh, iguana. Just provide a little bit of additional stats to the uh, dog. Since the dog was the big unit I was going to have. Get a sea line for scaling. Uh, I also don't usually do a lot of Wombat gaming. Um, the Wombat is uh, an interesting pet. It basically steals a faint ability from uh, the highest tier opposing team. So you can get something. You could get absolutely nothing, but it, it's interesting. Uh, could have gone for the Wombat level up, but I figured, hey, let's get the Sea Lion uh, level up. That way we actually get the scaling. Ah, crocodiles. <laughs> it's good to have this sea lion in the back to absorb the damage of the uh, <laughs> crocodile and stuff. I've been kind of hope, like, uh, throughout this gameplay, I was hoping to see more secretary birds. I was like, oh, I could maybe get something with that. But when I wasn't seeing any more, it's like, yeah, let's go with the highland cow and double buff it. Uh, that's four stats every turn. Get a chocolate onto the wombat. First time level three. And then not really interesting to take either of these pieces here. Oh, seeing the banana there made me think of something else on the test server. They sort of silently changed the pill from 
being one gold to two gold that that was like a somewhat shocking change right um I don't fully know how to feel about that. Like, the pill was basically a must-take item. And I still kind of feel like it's a must-take item. But now it's, like, a little less worth it. Like, for example, uh, Blobfish pill is five gold now instead of four gold. And, and so, plus one, plus one, plus the experience for five gold versus three gold for... Uh, yeah. Actually, that makes it the same cost as a crow. A crow is for buy sell is five gold because you have to purchase it and then sell it. So that's two gold worth. And then you have to purchase the chocolate. So that puts it directly in line. And I don't know. I, perhaps the crow and the blobfish should be switched switched I, I don't know exactly what would be best there but um yeah i guess it's the convenience of not needing um uh not needing to find a pill as well you just get the chocolate here i math it out it's like okay once I get to a level 3 Highland Cow, I only need 33 health, so I decide to put it to the left to start getting a little bit of attack buffs. And then throw the Highland Cow at the back. I have enough health for getting 50 Trumpets, so I'm all good to go there. Decide to level up the Lionfish, losing out on like a pretty big unit, but having a Scorpion is going to be really nice for like, randomly taking out a large unit, you know? Start buffing the scorpion, just in case. But there's eight wins. Didn't even need the 50 trumpets there. I have a really strong team at this point. And then uh, let's see if the wombat actually... If we get to use the wombat for this final turn here. No summon unit, unfortunate, uh, or faint unit. But there we go, level three wombat. And this was my first try of the weekly pack this week. Uh, I'm going to be showing that off here at the end, uh, basically the proof of that. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video and my ramblings of the thoughts of the test server, uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a like on the video. Uh, I'll probably be taking a look at the test server uh, bonus video soon. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, friends.